Hello friends and welcome back. Today we're cleaning the vacuum. Hey friends. Hello friends and welcome back. Today, we're cleaning the vacuum. Well, it's not just cleaning a vacuum, it's a Dyson. And I highly mm -hmm. recommend people save up and get one. Super mm -hmm. easy to maintain. We're literally diving into this vacuum and we're taking it apart and we're cleaning it out. So come along and see how we do it. Okay, so I guess we're gonna start with the very first thing, the easy thing, which is the little canister here. So as you can see, we've got a lot of dust and hair. It's nice and easy to... Uh... That's a lot of crap in there. And we clean that out about once a week, so that's pretty well, telling. Well, we did upstairs, which we haven't done in a little bit, so. Yeah. So there's a few basic things you gotta keep clean. There's a filter in here, and there's kind of an extra little filter inside. So we'll show you how to clean it. Okay, so it's really easy. Do this little latch, and kind of pull a little tab, it comes right out. <laughs> As you can see, it kind of gets a lot of hair and basic stuff. Just easily wash it out. So if you if you wanted, maybe you could spray it out with an air compressor ahead of time. But if you live in a very humid place like uh, Washington, or just nothing dries out, you just got to make sure this dries out. Otherwise, it'll just mold inside. So make sure it gets dry. So the next thing to check is the inner container here, <laughs> which usually just pops off. I like to take an air compressor and blow that out. You also can take and blow out through here and get everything kind of out of here in this little chamber and stuff. So we can go outside and show you, but there's just hair and things that kind of collect in here, dust. But if you blow it out, it just cleans everything out. So if you look in the bottom of here, there's some really hardened dust. Because when you take that fine dust and then get it wet, it turns into like little concrete down there. So you can blow it out, but sometimes it gets hard so you can like scrape it out. But if you're just doing basic house stuff and not getting it wet, you should be fine. But occasionally, that's what that buildup is. Okay, so this stuff's kind of hard caked in here. So taking it and loosening it up it out, we'll get a lot of that dust out. Okay, so you can see a lot of dust down in there. So we're going to dump it out, scrape a little bit more, and then rinse it out. Okay, so we've cleaned this out. We did a really thorough one. I mean, it is a vacuum, and we've had it for a good many years. years. Yeah. So, I mean, there's always gonna be some dirt. It's a vacuum. But, now, let's go use the air compressor to get all this stuff out. And we'll see the big of dust.
Okay, so the next thing is to do the filter in the ball, which we're not sure we've ever done. Okay, so make it pretty straightforward. Little red button, a little handle, pulls right out. You even have instructions on running water through. It's a hard filter, not a soft filter. It doesn't come apart any more than that. This must be the engine filter, because this ball is the motor. So this must be the motor filter. So let's just run it under. I'm assuming you shake out the water one to two times, times 10, I don't know. And then you put it in the sun for 12 out, 24 hours. So you have to make sure it's dry, probably because you don't want the water blowing into the motor. Well, that's kind of cool. Does it drain through? It's not really going through. That is black water. Watch that. Wow. Yeah, that's the filter that needs to be cleaned. So the black is black. Look at that. The white starting to show through. So clean it until it's clear water coming out. Kind of gotten it sprayed out. And you want to shake that water out. Make sure you really shake the water out, flip it over, shake it, flip it over, shake it, because each time more and more water will come out. This is going by the motor, so you really want to make sure it's dried out. So before I go and put it back in, I'm going to, uh, they say put it in the sun, but we don't have any sun, <laughs> and I don't know when we're going to get sun again. So I'm going to put it by the fire, but don't expose it to heat. I'm putting it close to the fireplace, because you want it really dry. You don't want that moisture going into your motor. <laughs> say it. You may want to. Okay. So you got to make sure you keep the moisture out of the motor. So there's a lot of things in life you want moist, but this is not one of them. <laughs> my wife hates the moist word. I, it's like my least favorite word. <laughs> so he tries to use it when he can. So inside here, there's like a little black film. I'm just going to wipe it off because that must be what the filter's trying to uh, keep out of the motor. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Five yeah. girls in this household. There's a we lot of hair in here. Lots of long hair. So this part can really get bound up and keep things very ineffective. Look at all that hair. That doesn't really get scrubbed much because it's all bound up. So what you do is you release this. Maybe. <laughs> Wait. Struggle bus? Struggle bus. And then it slides off. That is nasty. So, with all the hair. So gross. I think we blew it out pretty good. We might blow that out again. Mm -hmm. Just wipe it out. Different tools that you can use. Scissors, little scissors, and a seam ripper because it has an excellent sharp point, but it also has the blade in the middle of it. So, look at that. Nice. Like, just tears right through that hair. He's making me do this because it's our hair. No, I do it all the time. I know you do, but. Let's see if I can get a close up. This is better. Yeah. There we go. For the bigger chunks, start with the scissors. Yep. There's five girls in this house. If I saved up all the hair we get out of Stop. vacuums, I could make a cool Wookiee outfit. He's so disgusting. <laughs> Okay, ready? Yep. Nice. That's just one section. All right, here's a before and an after. That's a huge difference, don't you think? Also, that. Obviously the tissue didn't come out of it, but that's a lot of hair. And we actually clean this out quite often, this part of it. Oh yeah. I'm so sorry, folks. <laughs> he made me do that close up. <laughs> that was disgusting. All right, you guys, that is it. Ew, the counter's disgusting. Oh, Forgot yeah, to wipe that off. To wipe that <laughs> Ugh. I've washed my hands off though. So that's it. The parts are going to dry. The two filters are gonna dry and then we'll be able to put it back together. So we're kind of off the hook from having the vacuum for 24 hours, which is kind of nice. Yeah. This applies to the Dyson vacuum that we have, but every vacuum has filters on it that you need to rinse out 
every vacuum has the brush at the bottom that you need to pull the hair out of. So you can still do this if you don't have a Dyson. That's just the kind of vacuum that we have, so we're gonna show you that. I highly recommend you clean out your vacuums. What would you say, like, If you've got twice girls, a year? I would do the, the hair Ooh. once a month. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but maybe, like, the rest of it twice a year? Probably supposed to do it more, but it's fine. I mean, you can see what we have. Yeah. Depends on the amount of dust. Maybe if you live in a deserty area with more dust in the air, yeah. maybe you got to do it more often. This is how you do it. Yeah. Anyway, thank you for joining us. For more tips and tricks and regular vlogs, stick around, subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Click the bell. Click the bell. And leave a comment. If you, actually I want you to leave a comment when the last time you cleaned your vacuum out and be honest. Oh yeah, 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 let's do that. If you have not ever cleaned your vacuum out, be honest, I'm leaving me a comment below. But if you have, let me know how often you do it. I am curious to see if people do it on a regular basis. Maybe what's your favorite vacuum? We love the Dyson, but a lot of people, it's like Apple and, and like uh, Dyson or Shark are the two main competing vacuums. Oh, are they? Yeah. But so you meant to say Apple, Samsung. Yeah, I was trying to like, either you're an Apple person or a Samsung person, you know. Some people are shark people, some people are Dyson people. Just wondering what you are. Can't we all just get along? I'm trying to. <laughs> okay, take care guys. Bye. Is it tilted? No, it's just a funny angle or something. No, but seriously. That was tilted the whole time. <laughs> it's all good. It Sorry guys. It's a different angle.